Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here in Procreate. And for today's video, we're going to be taking a look on how to properly set up your brushes in the case that you're using the same brush with different brush weights or brush sizes on the same illustration. So to be more clear about what the challenge is here in this illustration, let's just first assume that this is an art style you've been currently exploring, meaning that not only you're doing this illustration, but you're doing several other illustrations to your Instagram or Facebook page or whatever you wanna post it online, but you have several that are using the same technique. You're using bolder outline strokes and some sort of a hatching or pattern on the inside of your illustrations. So let's just also use as an example there, you're doing all that with the monoline brush. As we know, when we use a brush in Procreate, we have the brush size on the top section and we have the brush opacity at the bottom slider right here. So top slider is brush size, bottom slider is opacity. Now the challenge becomes that if we're using our monoline brush and trying to continue this outline, let's just say, for example, that we haven't finished the whole outline here on the outside of the chest pawn piece. So now that I'm using the same brush, but I'm getting super thick uh, brush strokes. And that is because I have to tweak or fiddle with this until I find the size that's actually matching. And even in this case, I feel like we're still going just a little thicker than what we want. So I gotta keep working around. Now it's too thin, so I gotta go up a bit and I gotta be fiddling and tweaking until I find the one that I think will match the continuation of my line so that I can continue doing my work. And right here, it's a bit of a problem. You're, you're like fiddling with this and then if you turn off Procreate and if you don't remember what number this is set to and you continue tomorrow, you're gonna have this problem again and again. And, and furthermore, let's just say that we've finished with the outlines but now we wanna continue on the inside uh, lines as well. But because we were doing those outline strokes, those are of course visually much thicker than what we have on the inside. So now we gotta fiddle once again with the sizes. And now of course this one looks much closer, but it could not be exactly the same one. In fact, it does look a little bit thinner than the lines that I've used on the inside uh, hatching pattern. So in a nutshell, there's a lot of back and forth that is required here. And there is for sure a much easier way to get this all set up. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Just before that, just letting you know that I do have a Patreon community, a Patreon page. And if you want to get access to extended tutorial videos, get access to all of the files used, color swatches, brushes, and on top of that, get some bonus material as my top 20 plus brush pack and my top 10 plus color palettes that I use on all my illustrations, make sure to check the Patreon link that is in the description box of this video. So now let's continue. So right here in Procreate, I have my monoline brush that I've been using to give you this example. So I have already set up in a different subfolder here, the solution right here, which is to break your brushes, the same brush, you're gonna break into all of the sizes that you need to create your work and even repeat that process if necessary with other illustrations. So just to give you an example, I got my uh, thicker brush, medium and fine. So we're gonna go back into this one here and we're gonna start tweaking. So how do we do that? We first tap on the brush itself and bring up the brush studio. Now we're gonna go into properties and we're gonna be tweaking these values right here. We got the maximum brush size and the minimum brush size. On this section, I'm just going to draw a two on the maximum brush size and another two on the minimum brush size. So what I am doing here essentially is that I'm locking maximum size to be 2%, minimum size to be 2%, which is not set up by default on Procreate. So now if we hit done, we see that our studio pen, our preview has become much, much thinner. And as well as on the slider, if I go all the way up or go all the way down, nothing really changes on the preview right here meaning that my brush is always going to be the same thickness, no matter what the slider is. So that means that with that, with this one right here, I actually have now the formula to create my hatching lines that will match perfectly all the work that I've been doing right here. 
Now with the same premise, if I just go back into the brush studio, I can tap on this brush and we can go in the about and I'm just gonna tap here on the title, bring up the keyboard and just going to erase this section and do it a space and say fine. So now I hit done and I hit done again and now I got my studio pen fine version. Now I'm just going to slide to the left, duplicate this brush, tap on this one. So now back here in the properties, in that same section where we've tweaked the maximum and minimum size, I'm just going to now uh, write 12 on maximum and I can even tap here on minimum size 12 as well. I'm going to actually go in the about, tap on the title, bring the keyboard once again, and I'm just gonna call this one medium. Hit done and done again. And now as we can, as we can see, the preview already looks uh, much thicker in the sense of the brush stroke. Now with this one, if I were to draw, I now have something that is much closer, almost a perfect match to the outside, uh, outside outline. Meaning that now I have two brushes. When I want to work on the hatching pattern, I can just tap on this one. I don't really need to worry about any of these sizes. I don't need to remember any of these percentages. And when I need to work on the outside outline, I just tap on this one and I go and I have access to that specific size that I need to. The last thing here to keep in mind is that these brush sizes and these setups they are actually uh, made for the specific canvas size. So if you work, if you all of a sudden go with a much bigger canvas size, your brushes are probably going to look smaller. That is because now you have more pixels to cover. If you were to make smaller, smaller size canvases, you would then make your brushes look like bigger. And that is the opposite effect. Of course, now you have less pixels with the same sort of sizes you've uh, pre uh, determined here so your brushes are probably going to look bigger on smaller size canvases so my other tip for you is to work with similar size canvases if you're making your art say for instagram use the same size of square canvases with pixels as well for example 4000 by 4000 or 2000 by 2000 and you would start to establish a design system or an illustration system for all of your illustrations so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen, there's always more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload, and the other one is a video that YouTube is recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.